Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by BIS, the Department for Business Innovation Skills, the Learning Revolution and Learning Leicestershire. We are all working together to promote informal adult learning. Please support us by joining our online community. This tutorial will show you how to create a PDF file. We shall also be looking at what is a PDF file and why you would want to save anything as a PDF file. The software we'll be using is called PDF995 and I will discuss how you can use that to save any file type as a PDF. There are two files you can download to help you with this video tutorial. The first one is called Installing PDF995 Help Guide .pdf, and that shows you where you can download the software and how to install it on your computer. The second help file is called howtopdf.pdf and this is the usual five steps which you can follow along with the video tutorial. So what is a PDF? Well first of all it stands for Portable Document Format. This means that you can compile text, images, that could be complex CAD drawings, 2D or 3D images, and even video into a file format that almost any PC or computer can open regardless of operating system and file format. It helps combat any barriers between people not being able to open file types. Anyone with, with a computer should be able to open a PDF regardless of what it contains. So, why save as a PDF file? Well, as we've discussed, anyone can open a PDF file. It can also reduce the file size, making it easier to email. And it doesn't allow anyone else to edit your work. So you can then publish it and know that it can't be edited. PDF 995, this is a free piece of software. Make sure that you download and install that now. If you need any help, follow the Installing PDF 995 help guide then I can show you how to save your files as a PDF. Basically, it works by tricking your computer into thinking that it is a printer. And when you go to print a document, it prints it to your PC rather than to a piece of paper. And it saves it as a PDF file. So I'll show you now how you can save any document as a PDF file. I'll work on the Word, Word document installing PDF 995 help guide and I'll show you how I convert that into a PDF so you can download it and view it on almost any PC. First of all we click on the file, this is the, old, the new start button on Word and then instead of going to save or save as we go to print and then click on print as you would normally do, not quick print um, else that will print it on your default printer which here at the moment is the HP DeskJet we need to click on the drop down box and then select the new printer that's been installed which is called PDF 995 so I'm going to click on that and then you can click OK at this point PDF 995 will start to do its stuff and a box will pop up and say where do you want to save the file and what do you want to call it make sure that you give it a, a good name and make sure you save it in a place where you know where it is I'm just going to call mine installing PDF 995 help and then click on save and I saved it into my documents a box will pop up on screen saying um, would you like to uh, purchase the software or would you need to want to continue using the sponsored version I'm happy to continue using the sponsored version you don't need to pay for that another box will pop up uh, and in within your Internet Explorer gives you some more examples of what the paid version will do just simply close that. Also pops up on screen your new PDF file as you can see here. I'll just open that up and we can see now it is a PDF file. I can't do any editing or anything on that. It's, it's a flattened file ready to email out. Probably a smaller file size as well. And then anyone else on any PC can open that up. They can't edit it um, and um, it'll work anywhere. So that is how we save a file as a PDF. You can do it with images, you can do it with videos, you can do it with all sorts of things. As long as you've got a print option, then you can save your file as a PDF. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. And also make sure that you check out all the other tutorials that we're putting together. Post your comments and even your responses in the online forums. I've been Nathan Revel. Thank you very much.